The plane bearings support the slider and are the bearings that allow it to slide back and forth. The machined metal blocks will wear over time, leading to play in the recip shaft. Replacing the plane bearings is a repair that you can do yourself, and I'm going to show you how. The JR3000V was one of Makita's very most popular recip saws. They made many changes to it over the years. Because of this, when you replace one part, it may be necessary to replace several others around it. If you go to Makita's website and search for the model JR3000V, you'll find a parts breakdown. At the bottom of the breakdown, there's a complete list of all the service bulletins. Let's get started. I'll remove the shoe. It's secured with two screws. Now I can remove the protective boot. Now I'll remove the gear case cover. Now I can begin removing the slider from the housing. First I'll remove the blade clamp. Now remove the plates that secure the plane bearings. And with the plates removed, I can remove the slider. Now I'll remove the plate, O-ring, and felt seal from the front of the shaft. Next, I'll remove the plane bearings. Now I can replace the plane bearings. I'll apply some new grease to the slider. both ends where the plane bearings attach and in the middle where it attaches to the wobble plate. I'll slide the plane bearings onto the shaft Reinstall the felt seal, the O-ring, and the plate. Now this assembly can go back into the housing. I line the plane bearings so the tab is facing down. It locks into the grooves on the housing. I also need to align the felt seal and the front plate with the slot in the housing. Once everything's in place, I'll re-secure the plane bearings with the metal plates.
and I'm going to apply a little more new grease around the plane bearings. Now I can reinstall the gearbox. As I do, I need to make sure that I align the slider with the bearing. Then I'll secure it with the screws. Now I'll reinstall the boot and the shoe. And now you can install new plane bearings in your recip saw.